Okay, what we're doing today is we're making dishwasher uh, detergent for washing dishes in a dishwasher. And we do that using one cup of borax. I get the 20 mil team borax. And I use one cup of Arm & Hammer uh, washing soda and a quarter cup of Epsom salt. And what we do, and also some lemon juice, we just put in a cup of washing soda in a bowl, a cup of borax, and a spoon here. We'll just kind of mix those together, all the dry stuff. Throw the Epsom salt in there. Mix that up real good. want to make it nice, even consistency of all the dry, and try to get those lumps out. It's, um, the washing soda tends to lump in the box when you buy it. This works out to be a real cheap, excellent cleaning thing. And what I did is I just took a, you can use a, a liquid lemon juice, I didn't have any, I had fresh lemons. I took the seeds out. And basically you just want about a couple teaspoons of juice. Got some old junk in there. Get that out. So we'll just squeeze in one small lemon should be about that. You just want basically to make it moist. And notice how it foams up. I don't know if you can see that. But it foams up when it hits the dry mixture. Try to squeeze this through my hand here. Not getting all the pulp in there. Okay, I've got a little cut of my finger that burns. And you want to mix that together real good. Might need a little more lemon juice. Um, it actually it should be about three teaspoons per um, cup of powder. So we're using two cups. So I'm probably lacking a couple teaspoons of lemon juice here. It's not quite. What you want is like a, not quite as pasty as like peanut butter, but just so it kind of all holds together into a, uh, a good liquid form here. Uh, yeah, we definitely need more lemon juice. Okay. I'm going to cut this for one second, slice up another lemon, and I will be right back. Okay, I added another lemon, and I started uh, mixing up a little bit here. I did it off camera because it's hard to hold the camera. And I'm mixing this sometime, as you can see. But you can kind of see the consistency I got here. It's, um, Um, if it's still kind of dry, you can add a couple tablespoons of just, you know, just a little bit of hot water um, just to get this consistency if you don't want to use a lot of lemon juice or if you don't have a lot on hand. The water will evaporate, of course, um, and the idea is to fill an ice cube tray with this, uh, this mixture here. Just put a kind of spoonful in each one. Kinda just level them out a little. Basically, want to keep them separated here. And what you're gonna do after you fill all these up? Actually, don't need to be full. Full. The key is to keep it. This is really hard to do holding a camera, but kind of get the idea. You want to just keep it down so they're gonna separate easy. Smooth off the tops. You can shake the uh, ice cube tray around a little bit afterwards. And what you do basically is uh, you let it sit in here overnight. Um, sometimes I mean, it needs a little bit longer, depending on you know how warm it is in your house and humidity, etc. Um, but usually within a day, these will be all dry, and you'll be able to take the ice cube tray and bang it out on a cookie sheet or on the counter on some wax paper or something. And these cubes will actually be uh, hard. Um, 
by then and you'll be able to pop them inside a Ziploc bag or container and you just throw one of these cubes in your dishwasher like you do with those little packets they make for the um, dishwasher detergent and each of these little things right here will clean a full load of dishes in your automatic dishwasher. So I almost got a full tray out of that batch. Um, just under. I mean I could probably could have probably spread it out into those extra two things there. Just even them out. them out real nice get the air out of them and that's it if you have any overlapping like that it's not really a big deal um, when you go to bang it out tomorrow you can take a knife and just kind of cut that out almost like you're cutting a piece of pizza or something and that's basically it you let them sit and basically this batch right here probably cost about eh, 15 20 cents so 15 20 cents for you know, 10, let's see, 4, 8, 10, 12. Am I counting that right? 12, uh, 12 loads of uh, your detergent right there. So that's a good uh, money saving thing, and this actually cleans the dishes excellent. So it's one cup of washing soda, one cup of borax, quarter cup of Epsom salt, and your lemon juice, and that's it. Um, I will come back tomorrow and pop these out of the tray and show you how they work okay so we're back and here it is and as you can see it's all like dry and that was just overnight so basically I'm going to get my helper here he's going to squeeze it like um, you're getting regular ice cubes out of a tray and gently flip it over not too hard that they bust in half Flip it over quick, and up, and ta-da! A couple of them break up once in a while, they're hard to get out just like ice cubes, but you can throw, look, it's almost a full one anyways, and there they are. Perfect little things for the um, dishwasher. Thanks. Bye.